The year was 2009, the time when AMD released its first DirectX 11 GPUs and many thought Nvidia would do the same. But despite all the hopes about Nvidia releasing its first DirectX 11 GPUs, they came up with the 200 series cards. I'm sure if it wasn't for the DirectX limitation, these GPUs would still be pretty relevant even in 2020. There is one GPU amongst all of them in the 200 series lineup that even DirectX 11 or new and modern drivers cannot save. That's the GT210, today considered as one of the worst graphics cards ever released. And to make it even worse, the model I have is the weakest one available on the market. Offering just 512MB of DDR2 VRAM alongside a 64-bit memory bus and some pretty impressive 16 CUDA cores, it does seem like a surprise that the TDP of this thing is 30 watts. The only good thing about this card is its support for Windows 10 and multiple monitors, as well as its very small size. Other than that, I cannot really say anything positive about it. Or maybe the following benchmarks can change my mind. So after all of the testing I've done with this small GPU, I can say that it's still bad and offers very bad performance, so I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone. Maybe if you can find it for a couple of dollars then you can consider it. But only for the main thing it was advertised on release, a simple display adapter. 